Alrighty, welcome everyone to our, oh there we go, freedom request right off the bat. Welcome everyone to uh, another edition of Star Wars Battlefront Gameplay, I'm Killswitch Corbs, a very average gamer. We are playing Drop Zone on one of the Hoth maps. So uh, this is literally just going to be a live commentary playthrough of a round of Drop Zone. Uh, I'm just going to explain my thinking process when I'm playing this game mode. This is probably actually my favourite game mode. Uh, uh, if you can see um, the hand I'm currently running with, on the left we have the jetpack, we have the uh, thermal detonator with the R1 button and our main uh, star card in the middle is of course the personal shield. Uh, the personal Those shield is something I really enjoy running on drop zone. Capture as many of them as you can. As uh, you, you can get some sneaky, even if uh, you know you're not going to be able to hold the drop zone, you pop a shield, steal, uh, steal the claim. On the on the uh, pod, and you'll buy your team some more time. So we're gonna go over this way. We're gonna pick up a charge, and as soon as we're out of this cave, we're gonna jetpack right over. We are going to throw a grenade right over there. The get some hit markers, throw up a shield. We get the claim. Now we need to regroup, drop back a bit. The shield's gonna drop very very shortly. Hey bro, how's it going? So they're gonna be coming from over the top, yep. Clear them out from the top and now we have a good position uh, to be able to watch this one and be able to launch ourselves towards wherever the next one is. Looks like they're trying to come through that little tunnel over there. Not gonna go after him. Escape pod signal. So we'll run around here, and we're gonna try get the second part. Oh, good! Teammate the got there first. We are uh, in a good position right now. Snip four and zero. Hello, sunshine. We are running the berserker trait, which means that when we are damaged, our uh, blasts with our gun do slightly more damage. Which is really useful on these, uh, oh, I thought that was an enemy. Which is really useful, especially when it comes to these smaller game modes. Looks like we've got some action going on down there, but we're going to hang back here. I'm just going to, I don't want to drive forward too much. Because uh, if I do... Oh, see, this guy was just too late. He had the right idea though, popping the shield. Trait level 3. There we go. Proximity bomb, which is not a bad thing to have. Where's the next one? Oh, it's inside. Alright, now we have to go back down in here. If you don't like running a personal shield for smaller game modes, I definitely recommend for drop zone uh, to try scan pulse. Because if you're defending the pod like we are right now, it, it is always good to know uh, what lanes these guys are coming from. So we might have some action up the back here. Maybe not. Our team's doing a very good job. All kind of bunching around the pod. Looks like there's some action going on down over here. Our guys are dropping, so we're going to throw a random grenade. There we go, we get the kill assist. We've got someone around here as well trying to be sneaky. But he just popped up on the map for a little bit. And we've got someone just down here as well. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, the E11's a good gun to run with, anyway. Blaster cannon. See, I don't like blaster cannons on uh, drop zone. We have to push them back. Okay, so the pod's going to be out here to the left. No doubt they're going to be watching the tunnels, so we're going to have to be quick. Pop the shield. And sneak this away. Then we can worry about this infantry. We got the shield up. There we go, the one shot. Alrighty. Got a teammate. Oh, got someone up there. A little lag. It's not us. 
my net connection's fine. Looks like we've got someone just here. Got another kill. The guy down the tunnel, another kill. We're sitting on 12 and 0 right now. Got someone sitting on top, it's just there. As long as we can suppress him and just keep him from trying to make a play and coming up, we should be okay. Our teammates are going after him anyway. We've got guys coming from down the tunnel. We've got guys coming up behind us. Alrighty. We've identified the position of another escape pod. This could be tricky because there could be guys down there that we don't see. There we go. See, so we're getting shot at. Got one guy to deal with. He's gonna try to take the pod. That's fine, he got it. Who cares? We're right next to it. So we'll take it right back. Which will hopefully give our teammates enough time to come up and meet us. We've got this guy with a smart rocket. He missed. There we go. We've got guys coming from behind us as well by the looks. I always hate this though. You can never fucking see. We do have a smart rocket. Oh shit, they give me a fright. And our whole team's here by the looks, alright. So it looks like it's going to be a 5-0 whitewash. No, no, no! We don't want to lose the streak here, don't lose the streak here. Yeah, there we go, we finished the game. It's 16-0, a 5-0 whitewash. Uh, here on Hoth. It's going to be some angry guys on that other team, I can tell you that. And there we go, we get all three objectives, four pods activated, eight pods defended, and the highest score. It's not bad. Now we'll swap sides and have a... Yeah, it wasn't bad, actually, that KD.